Shot again. As the leaders of tomorrow, they have the full capability to be taking over these huge, massive companies and making new ones as well that could potentially be working on the same lines of yesterday, of ones which have not been as sustainable. We've been seeing videos um, actually posted by the Helen MacArthur Foundation throughout the course that we've been studying at the time. And we realized that what we're trying to do is we're trying to make our world a circle. We're trying to make sure whatever comes in as resources never leaves and is maintained through a permanent cycle of buying, redesigning, repurposing, and then selling. That way, we're maximizing 100% the potential of every material possible. I think the biggest thing institutions can do is like Warren said, creating an ethos, creating a culture of the circular economy in kids from a young age. So for them, they understand it as the norm. And I think that's what's going to make them do it, is when they understand that this is what should be normal and is not, is all drive them to really try to make a change and try to get people to adopt, uh, you know, uh, circular practices. And I think as what we're trying to do as part of our consultancy is in UWC is to create that culture, create the ethos. So kids, even at a young age, you know, even before high school, are understanding that you know the future of the world really is in a circular economy. I think that all initiatives start with a dream. So by showing people how we kind of began to achieve our dream, we can set an example for other people because there are so many people who have um, a similar interest. So just. Showing them, you know, and guiding them as to how we achieve.